I've often heard people say that when you ask feminists a question, they tend to repeat themselves and their answers become repetitive. Personally, I've never felt this way, but after watching today's video, I kind of understand where that feeling comes from. Let's jump straight into the video and see what happens. For those who are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. We bring interesting videos that can enhance your critical and deep thinking. Let's start. Do you think currently that transgender men have to sign up for selective service? Are they assigned male or female at birth? They're assigned female at birth. Yeah. They don't. Okay. So what you have just demonstrated is that even if we're talking about the trans agenda, that trans men, they're, they're men. still not equal with trans women. <laughs> because they're men. If that's true, then how come they don't have to sign up for selective they service? They should have to because they're men. Yes. So then <laughs> shouldn't trans women be exempt under this? Yes. Even though they're biologically male? No, trans women are women. Biologically male. Trans women are women. Yeah, but biologically trans they're Trans women are women. You're they're not women. saying anything. They're Something biologically whatever, they're women. So what you're saying here is trans men who are born female should have to... Hang on should have to sign up for the draft, but that the ones who are assigned man at birth, they should be exempt from the draft. Yes. Then biological men, if they say they're women, they don't have to get drafted. Sure, throw that equal rights amendment up there and we're all equal and draft us all. <laughs> I think her weight is up and intelligence is down. This is what $25,000 per semester gets you. These women seem allergic to logic. They digest everything except logic. She embodies everything wrong with modern women. She is not a fool because she actually believes in this, but because she is too scared to admit that her argument is entirely flawed. If something has four wheels, a steering wheel, a trunk, four fenders, a hood, seats for six, and is built and sold as a car, she'll call it a motorcycle if she wants to. That's the absurdity of identity politics. What do you all think about this video? Share your thoughts in the comments. If you want to watch more interesting videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for listening and supporting me. Take care.